Hi everyone, it's me Luiz Estrela from Nintendo Everything's channel and I'm here today to bring my first impressions of Metroid Dread. First of all, I'm totally in love with the game. I'm loving every second that I play, it's such a well-executed experience, everything is done with such care and you can see that in the game. And since I saw the announcement, I've been very excited to play and now that I'm finally playing, I don't know how much of my perception is being affected by the hype, but I can safely say that it is at least a great game. The first scene leaves a very good impression, explaining what happened so far in the series with great use of static imagery. But then, after this introduction, we are presented with a complete 3D cutscene, something unusual in the series, and the cinematography is fantastic. There's a lot of cool things like showing Samus' face through her helmet and very exciting action scenes, and everything looks beautiful. Since the first trailer, I was really into the visual direction of the game, but seeing the emotion on the TV is way more more impressive. Everything is so fast and smooth in 60fps and so far the performance has been very solid. When the cutscene ended and I was in control of Samus, the first thing that came to my mind was how fun it is to simply control the character. It's very responsive and probably the best movement control in the whole series. The jump, wall jump, the slide, everything works like a dream and puts the player in total control of her. Metroid Red plays like a 2D Metroid, there's no doubt about it. It takes a lot of the best elements from past games and if you are a fan of the series I guarantee that you'll like it. But what really sets the game apart is how it modernizes everything. The level design is really well thought, most of the gameplay elements can be learned just by exploring the map, there's no handy holding here. Even Adam, the AI that helped Samus, didn't give me any explicit directions, only hints leaving most of the exploration to the player. And also, his voice is pretty cool. Consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. About the map, the only thing I can say is that it is very big, but I didn't get lost because the game does a very good job pointing the player in the right direction through the level design. But it's a very fun place to explore. I was also very pleased with the combat. It's an evolution from what I saw in Samus Returns with new moves that create dynamic battles and leaving behind the clunkiness of past games in the series. I know some people have the opinion that Metroid shouldn't be an action game, but honestly, it fits perfectly with the exploration aspect of the series and in my opinion, it adds a lot to the experience. Another thing that I really enjoyed was the presence of environmental puzzles. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think Metroid games usually don't have a lot of this. At a specific moment, I had to change the water level to progress, something more akin to a Zelda dungeon. Playing the game I can finally understand how the Emmy works and it's honestly a very clever idea that matches perfectly with Metroid gameplay. The zones where those robots can appear are normal areas in the game, so you have to explore those areas to progress, but you have to do exploration while there's a very agile robot following you. The feeling of adrenaline is insane, I got killed a good amount of times because I was nervous, but that fear will probably go away during the game and what remains is an engaging Metroid experience where you have to pay a lot of attention to your surroundings. And there's more, when you find a special one-time use upgrade, the Omega Blaster, you can finally kill the enemy, and it's a very satisfying process where you roast his face and kill him with a charged final shot. I love how the game always leaves everything to the player, it was rare to see something scripted. So far the Emmy is the best addition to the formula and I'm curious to see how it evolves later in the game. The experience in general is very polished, it's clear that Mercury C and Nintendo put a lot of effort into the game, and that's why it feels so good to play. But I wanted to bring attention to a specific detail. This game sounds so good, every enemy, every detail in the scenario, everything has a little sound to it. It's atmospheric and perfectly balanced. The sound that the Emmy does is really well made, because although it's a robotic sound for obvious reason, it sounds a little like an animal also, remind me of the dinosaur sounds from the Jurassic Park movie. The music is also good, it's not very memorable, but so far they've done a good job to match the vibe intended for each area.
Okay, this is sounding way too positive. My hype is probably interfering. <laughs> but I'm being honest, I'm happy with this game and I hope it keeps being good until the end. It's on the right track to become my favorite game this year and I'm recommending it to anyone who loves the Metroid series. Stay tuned for our Nintendo Everything's review coming out soon on the site and remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Bye!